Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, hi, my name is Ida and welcome to this little space I like to call Ida's Corner. So, I am here to talk about my skincare routine. Now, uh, sometime back, I used to get a ton of requests to do my skincare routine and that is why I am here barefaced for all you people out here um, <laughs> to explain to you about all the products that I have up in here in this box. And just to give you guys a bit of context, I have severely dry skin and very sensitive skin because I suffer from eczema. I know I've talked about this a million times, but it's always good to reiterate that in a skincare video so that you guys understand why I use the products that I'm using. So I will preface this by saying that possibly all the products that I talk about in this video will not work for everybody. Um, but if you do have dry sensitive skin, then this might be helpful for you. And I might have some tips for people who have acne, prone or oily skin, but this is primarily a skincare routine for those with dry sensitive skin. Anyway, let's get into this. Um, I will say from the beginning, I never used to have like a very good skincare routine. I used to be one of the very bare minimum people. In fact, for a very, very long time, I used to sleep with my makeup on, which is so bad for you guys. Please don't do that to yourselves. It is so bad for you. But I would say around the time I went to Korea, I already did have a pretty good skincare routine at the time, but it wasn't the best because at the time I used to have like this breakout that would happen primarily on my forehead and it used to be really bad like it used to be like really really tiny bumps and i would never know what that was if i find a clip in my archives from the time when i was in korea when i was doing my vlogs i'll insert it here so that you guys can see the kind of breakout that i used to have so i'm now back in my hotel room uh, obviously you saw that we ended up actually going to a restaurant so after that trip i got caught with like the bug of skincare so you guys know koreans take their skincare very 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 seriously so while i was there i bought a ton of skincare products and since then i've noticed such a drastic difference in my skin a lot of the items i have now are not from that time i have since replenished a lot of them and replaced them some of them with other brands that are not korean brands but the skincare routine has remained the same basically and i've found products that work for me and i'm not deviating from them and i'm here to talk about them with you guys so my skincare routine has a million steps <laughs> um i will go through it step by step with you guys and insert clips of me using the products as i talk about them and i will have a little step-by-step -step program right here on the screen for you guys to follow along just to know what step we're on and let's start with step one now step one is cleansing and when it comes to cleansing i like to do the double cleanse method it works very well in terms of first breaking down your makeup and then cleaning off your skin afterwards so if you're not a heavy makeup user if you or if you don't wear any makeup at all then i would say one step of cleansing is enough for you you can stick with a foam cleanser and that's enough but for me i have found that double cleansing works perfectly so i start with a oil-based cleansing balm like this clinique take the day off uh cleansing balm it does such a good job at breaking down my makeup first thing i do is take the cleansing balm on a q-tip uh, if i'm wearing false lashes and just breaking down the glue on the lashes and then taking off the lashes that way they don't tug at your eyelashes with the glue then second thing i do is rub it all over my face then i take it onto my eyes and really rub that into my eyelashes so that it can break down the mascara so i actually take my lashes in between my fingers and rub them and then i go onto a lip if i'm wearing a crazy matte lip like i'm wearing right now in this try on video then after that i just wash it off my face now one thing that i really love about this clinique take the day off cleansing balm is that when you're washing it off your face with water it doesn't like get too greasy it actually washes off pretty easily so i would say that this is a great one so on days that i don't have too heavy makeup you know i don't have false lashes and my makeup isn't too heavy then i don't necessarily need my cleansing balm on such days to remove my makeup in case i have really light makeup i instead use a micellar water and i'm currently Currently in love with this chlorine or chloran I'm not sure how to say it floral water makeup remover now this has been amazing one the packaging is just amazing it's got this like really cool um, top here where you press it down and it releases water so if you have your cotton pad there it just saturates the cotton pad 
and then you can use it on your face this has been amazing it doesn't sting my eyes because i've used many different micellar waters before and all the ones that i've used have always stung my eyes but this particular one i'm in love with because it doesn't sting my eyes and it's very gentle on the skin and removes my makeup like in an instant because what i've noticed with micellar waters is that you really have to either let it sit on your eye for like five minutes so that the mascara really breaks down without having to rub it but with this i just put it on and in like 20 seconds i pull it off and all my mascara is gone it's amazing but i mean you don't have to spend too much money the garnier micellar water is also pretty good i've used that for so long it's just that i recently discovered this i got it for such a good discount so i decided to try it and i really really like it i actually even have a second backup but when i run out i am not spending 20 plus dollars on this again like it's good but i'm not going to spend that much money on it but if you have the money to splurge i highly suggest looking at this it's really good now when i'm using a micellar water i use cotton pads with it like i mentioned and i'm going to give a special shout out to the mini so cotton pads these particular ones these are the Mumi little my cotton pads they're soft and gentle touch these are amazing i have tried so many cotton pads in our market like the ones that they sell at kafu or nakumat way before and they're not good enough because i remember i went to korea and then i was given some cotton pads as a sample and i fell in love with them like they were so good they really held the product well like if you're putting like micellar water in on them for instance you wouldn't need too much to soak it up and it would hold the product in it if that makes sense whereas with these other ones i would really have to saturate it and use so much product before using them and when i came back i I couldn't find such cotton pads anywhere until mini so open and they have these ones in the market like i know i'm being a little extra just talking about cotton pads but these ones in particular like i'm just gonna show you guys how it looks like do you see how it has like this line over here and this and then it has like this really thick inside part this is amazing like it's nice and light and airy such that it holds so much product in it i don't know how to explain it like guys just check them out i think a pack of these is like 300 shillings it's a bit pricey but you get a lot of them because the ones in kafu i used to buy i would get like a pack of 100 for like 200 shillings whereas this is 300 and you get 180 sheets so all in all if you actually think about it this is cheaper and they're way better so the next thing i do is take a foaming cleanser and i am in love with this cleanser this is the baking powder pore cleansing foam from etude house i actually bought this during my trip to korea and no this is not the same one that i had during that time i found that they also sell it on amazon so i've been replenishing from amazon as well so this is actually my fourth tube since my trip to korea and that was in 2017 but this does such a good job of cleaning the skin oh my god it like breaks down everything from your face so well and i don't use this alone i actually use this with my foreo um luna fofo i think that's what it's called this is a cleansing brush so i use this to really like work the product into my face and to really break down all the remaining makeup on my face before i wash it off and one really cool thing about this for your luna fofo is that it's made of silicone so it's very gentle on the face because i actually used to use the cleansing brushes you know the ones like clarisonic and things like that but those ones really hurt my skin like i said i have very sensitive skin and i would notice that every time i use it it would cause a breakout the next day so ever since switching to this i have noticed such a big difference to my skin and something special about this particular model is that it has these little dots at the back which you put on your face and the thing is you actually connect this to your phone using an app that you can download from the app store and when you put these dots on your face and then it tells you the type of skin that you have and it customizes the pulsations in the brush to be custom to your skin and you can actually track the progress of your skin uh, using Using the app so long as you do it regularly you can actually see if your skin is doing any better and personally i've seen such a big difference since using this this particular model goes for i think 89 dollars which honest to god i find very expensive i didn't buy it for that much i actually got it in one of my subscription boxes this is such a staple in my routine like i don't know what i would do if i lost this this is everything also i want to mention that i did see some dupes at miniso for this cleansing brush so if you're interested in getting one i would suggest trying those ones out i haven't tried them myself personally just because i don't see the need of buying another tool if i have this one you know i mean it wouldn't hurt to check them out you never know so yeah these two together are such a winning combo in my opinion so basically i just put the foam all over my face and then i take the brush i just uh, take it on the different parts of my face 
and really work the product in and wash off all the dirt and grime of my face and then I just um, spray my face with water and yeah that's it then my face is squeaky squeaky clean then the next step is exfoliating now exfoliating is not a step that i do every single day i do exfoliate about two or three times a week depending on how my skin feels one exfoliator that i use is this vasanti brighten up enzymatic face rejuvenator this is such a great exfoliator guys like it has the tiniest little particles in it and another cool thing about it is that it has papaya enzymes in it which help in renewing your skin surface so it helps break down your old skin and you know renew new cell growth if that makes sense but this is such a good one it's so good for sensitive skin it doesn't have like super big particles in it like um, a typical walnut face scrub or something else it's actually like it's like getting a derma microdermabrasion in your skin Skin. so i would say this is actually a really good dupe for the dr brand um microdermabrasion scrub which i have used it's really good as well and i noticed that ever since i started using this it really helped brighten up my skin so what i do is i just take a little bit on my hand and while my face is still wet i just rub it into my face in small circular motions and then i just wash it off and that's it after that is toning my face now i personally don't use a very stripping toner um i tend to stay away from products which have alcohol in them and even even toners which are meant for like oily acne prone skin i don't really use those i use moisturizing toners so like this one which i got from miniso is amazing this is the hyaluronic acid essence toner this has been such a godsend i've had this for so long i would say almost a year and i've still only used this much so all i do is after i've dried my face and pat dried it is i just take a few drops onto the palm of my hand and then i just tap it into my face so unlike other toners this one you don't put on a cotton pad and rub it on your face this one you actually tap it into your face because it's essentially like an essence but it's also toning at the same time and it's hydrating so you don't want to like rub it off your face just put it in and i promise you this does wonders so the next thing i do is put essence on my face and this is one that i got from miniso as well this is the aloe vera moisturizing essence i know it's uh, crazy that i already put an essence toner and then i put an essence but i'm all about that hydration guys like i need the hydration on my face when i tell you my face is the desert it is the desert take my word for it for people wondering what essences are an essence is basically something that preps your skin to allow any treatments or serums that you put on your face later to really seep into your skin so this particular one i've noticed does a good job at really hydrating my skin and making it feel a little bit more soothed is that a word soothed 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 that one like this i found really helps my skin and yeah i suggest getting into essences as well so the next thing i would do is put a sheet mask which i do just like the exfoliation like two or three times a week but before i do that just to really make sure that the essence from the sheet mask really gets into my face i actually use a derma roller on my skin and this is the alitura naturals derma roller now this particular derma roller only has a 0.25 millimeter needle so they're really 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 tiny so it's very very gentle on the skin I am NOT going to take those one millimeter needles and put those on my face I'm sorry like that's madness that's like putting an actual needle on my face whereas this is just like like they're so tiny you can't even see them I promise like I literally can't see them so especially if you've got sensitive skin like me and you've got something like eczema or acne I suggest going with a really really small uh, needle derma roller on your face this just basically helps in creating tiny tiny pricks on your skin so that your serums and essences or whatever just really seep into your skin and get treated now this is not something that I do every day oh no 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 <laughs> this is something I do like maybe twice a month just so that i don't aggravate my skin but i have found that this really helps all i do is basically just roll it all over my face just in a gentle motion up and down and then i move on to my sheet masks so for sheet masks in this particular demo i show you how i use one of my favorite sheet masks this is the murad age reform hydro glow aqua peel mask now this particular mask i really 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 love 
and the reason why I love it is because it has two steps to it. I've never seen a sheet mask do this before, but basically it has the first step here, which is a retexturizing swab. This is basically like a really large Q-tip, which is saturated with AHAs and BHAs on it. And this basically helps in renewing the skin. It's basically like another step of exfoliating, but this is more of a chemical exfoliator, whereas the previous exfoliator was a physical exfoliator. So what that does is basically just break down your old skin cells and renews skin cell growth which helps with aging and whatnot so i just take the swab and just rub it all over my face and then once i'm done with that i go into the actual sheet mask on this side now this is a really 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 hydrating sheet mask i just leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes and what i do is i don't let the sheet mask completely dry on my face you want to let it still be wet when you're removing it so when you notice a sheet mask is starting to dry that's the point where you need to remove it don't let it completely dry on your skin because that would have lost the purpose of a sheet mask because sheet masks are meant to be more hydrating soothing they're not really meant to be like you know pore cleaning or anything like that like clay masks do i'm personally not a fan of clay masks but those can be really great for people who get a lot of acne blackheads and things like that so i suggest that for you guys have more oily skin acne prone skin that might be a lot better for you because what that does is just suck out all the dirt from your pores and allows your pores not to get clogged thus leading to less acne breakouts but for people with dry skin i suggest going into sheet masks they're an amazing <gasps> invention like i freaking love sheet masks i don't think you guys understand like i am a sheet mask whore yes i used a bad word this bag is full of sheet masks like when i went to korea i went crazy like i'm not joking i went crazy i still have so many sheet masks that i bought from there i don't think you guys understand let me just show you a little peek into my sheet mask bag i think they're probably like 50 or more yeah probably more they're maybe more like 100 <laughs> um i bought so many while i was there they had so many offers at the time and they're so ridiculously cheap there i think one was like 100 shillings and every time you bought something they would always give you sheet masks for free and they would always have a buy one get one free offer so if you buy one sheet mask you get one free so essentially it comes down to 50 shillings a sheet mask when i tell you i went crazy sis i went crazy okay <laughs> but yeah sheet masks are so great for people with dry skin so i highly suggest them now on days where i am not using my Murad sheet masks which have the uh ahas and bhas on it before that i then use my glam glow super serum this is a six acid refining treatment it has i believe glycolic acid uh, hyaluronic acid salicylic acid and others so this essentially acts as an aha and bha treatment so i just put this on before my sheet mask it really helps it like exfoliating as well as brightening the skin and hydrating because it does have the hyaluronic acid in it which is amazing so yeah this is really great uh the only thing i don't like about this is that it has a peppermint scent and feel to it so it like kind of feels cool on the skin i know some people love that but i personally don't i hate peppermint like i hate minty things get them away from me unless you're an actual mint or gum then i hate mint in anything so minty smells and lip glosses nope not for me <laughs> so once i am done with my sheet mask i just remove it and i don't wash my face i know some people do that and i wonder like are you mad like those are all the nutrients rub that stuff on your face so one thing that i do is take my jade roller and just rub that serum right into my face uh something that i even forgot to mention is that i also use the jade roller while i still have the sheet mask on to really rub that in this is such a great tool so once i do that i then move into serums now serums are my favorite part of any routine in case you guys know me in my real life you know how obsessed i am with serums like i have so many serums it's insane but there are two standout serums that i'm going to talk about in this particular video and one of them is this gentilese l'esprit nature <laughs> tender rose moisturizing serum this i actually got from miniso it smells so good Oh, it smells so good it smells like roses so if you're not into roses then maybe not get this <laughs> but i freaking love the smell of roses so this has been so great this is actually my fourth bottle and it's only like 900 shillings this is such a great 
hydrating moisturizing serum it's so good so if you've got dry skin i highly suggest looking into this because serums can be pretty expensive depending on where you buy them or what brand you get them from so if you can get something for this cheap like i highly suggest it because serums are something that you're really going to go through and in case you're wondering what a serum is serums are basically like the treatment in your skincare routine so yes you can have moisturizers with like things like salicylic acid inside as an ingredient but usually you'll find that the moisturizing properties of the moisturizer are the more predominant part of the ingredients but with the serum this is a concentrated version of all those active ingredients that help with the treatment of your skin so for instance if you've got dry skin like me you want to look for serums that are hydrating moisturizing things like that you know like skin renewal brightening so you want things with uh, ingredients like hyaluronic acid vitamin c things like that that really help renew your skin and moisturize it in high doses so that's what serums are for it's basically those ingredients in high doses to help treat your skin with the issues that you might be facing so if you've got acne prone skin you're looking for like AHAs and BHA serums like this glam glow super serum this would be really good for you and things with uh, salicylic acid or niacinamide if you've got dark spots then you're looking for things with that niacinamide vitamin c to really help to reduce those dark spots and brighten your skin or if you've got wrinkles and you're looking for an anti-aging serum then you want to look for things with like hyaluronic acid or AHAs and BHAs or retinol to really help renew your skin and yeah work on your skin so that's what serums are for another serum that i really 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 love and you guys have seen this on my instagram as well is the sunday riley ceo rapid flash brightening serum I freaking love this serum so much. This is a vitamin C serum. I've noticed such a big change since I started using this. It does make the skin a bit sensitive, so beware if you're using vitamin C serums, then they make your skin a bit more sensitive to the sun. So you always want to use a sunscreen as you're using a vitamin C. But this I have found has done such great things for my skin. It helps moisturize the skin as well as brighten the skin. So if you've got any dark spots, this is also really great for you. Vitamin C really helps in lightening. And when I say lightening, I don't mean whitening like that's different i don't mean bleaching but it does a great job in like diminishing signs of aging as well and any dark spots on your face it's such it's such a great standout product like i recommend vitamin c to everybody it doesn't have to be this particular serum look at other serums um, that have vitamin c in them so you can get one on amazon for like 20 dollars um, i didn't spend 80 dollars on this i swear to you i got it for free <laughs> I promise you everything that I own that you think is expensive, I did not buy it full price. I am such a frugal person, if you guys did not know that. Like, I look for deals. I am a deal finder. So yes, I got a whole $80 serum for free just because I'd signed up to subscription box, which was only $10. So I literally got this for $10 if you think about it that way. But I did also get some great things in the subscription box. So I wouldn't say I'm losing. <laughs> now, let's get into facial oils. This is a bit of a controversial topic uh, because I know a lot of people don't believe in facial oils, but I am such a firm, firm believer in facial oils. They're so great for your skin. I just believe in finding the right facial oil for your skin type. So even if you've got acne, I still suggest using facial oil, but just make sure it's like a more drier oil or something that's made for your skin type. Like tea tree oils and things like that are good for people with acne. But for me, I look for really like hydrating, facial oils and things that will lock all my products into my skin so one product that i've really been loving which go hand in hand with my serum that i just mentioned is a sunday riley ceo glow vitamin c plus turmeric oil ah oh, this is such an amazing product these two together i like a match made in heaven and that's what you guys saw me post on instagram like these two are just amazing so once i'm done patting the serum into my face I basically just take a few drops of the face oil and really like press that into my skin and yeah this has been really great i actually believe that turmeric is such a great ingredient in skincare whether you use it in diy face masks or in anything so having this and i will also mention another face oil that i've really been loving this is the Ilo Wilo Yllo Beauty Face Elixir. This is the turmeric facial serum. They call it a serum, but I use it as a facial oil. So when I'm not using this one, I'm using this one. And this one is also really great. I just find that turmeric is such a good antioxidant for the face. It um, helps in reducing breakouts and things like that. Because at the end of the day, breakouts are just like bacteria, you know, forming things on your face. And turmeric is a really, really great traditional uh, ingredient that's used a lot in, especially our culture, as like an anti 
antibiotic and things like that so when i find it in skincare i get really excited because this really helps with breakouts i notice that every time i put in the turmeric one my breakouts reduce significantly by the next day so if you're looking for turmeric face oil and this is too expensive for you because again i got this as a deal then i suggest looking into this one it's a bit pricey still i think it was like 40 dollars but i got it again as a deal because i'm not spending that much money on something <laughs> but you get 60 milliliters of this product and trust me it lasts you a long long time i've been using this for months now and so far i still have like almost half it's really good so once i'm done putting on the facial oils i then go into my eye cream i use the do not age with dr brand triple peptide eye cream this is a very 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 heavy eye cream it's very moisturizing but i found that this is really great especially at night it's very heavy i don't suggest using it during the day but it does such a good job in hydrating my under eye because my under eyes can be so so dry so this has been really 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 great use an eye cream guys like usually the moisturizers meant for your face are not good enough for the eye area because it's a very delicate space and you always want to hydrate them just to make sure that you don't get all those fine lines as you grow older so so what i do is just take a little bit with my ring finger and just tap it in to my eyes because that area is very delicate so you don't want to use something with a lot of force you want to use your ring finger because it has the least amount of pressure so once i am done with that we then move on to the last step moisturizer now for moisturizer i really really love the la roche posay lipica balm ap plus moisturizer I've been using this for years and years and years and years and years. My aunt first introduced me to this product when I was, I think like probably 12 or something or older, slightly older. But this has been such a life changer for me. I only use this on my face because the rest of my body is way too dry for me to use this alone. I have to use something a lot heavier like a Vaseline or whatever. But this is such a great, great product. If you've got eczema or dry skin in general, then I highly suggest this moisturizer. It's quite thick. I'm not gonna lie. It's a very, very thick moisturizer so i don't suggest it to people with oily skin stay far far away from this but if you've got dry skin this is amazing okay like it's so good because every time i use any other moisturizer like i put it on my face and in like five minutes it's like completely sucked in and i know like for a lot of people that's a dream a lot of people want that but for me it's just not enough with my dry skin i need something that moisturizes me for hours on end so this is one of those it's like i said it's thick it's really thick <laughs> so it stays on my skin for quite a while so i still feel this hours and hours later on my skin so like i said it's not for people with oily skin but if you've got severely dry skin like me then this will be such a lifesaver i've sat here for five minutes waiting for this dog to stop barking um it's clearly not going to so i'm just going to finish this video so that completes my skincare routine guys i hope you enjoyed this video i know it was very 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 long i know but i am a person who tends to really like take things to an extra step and i know my skincare routine can be very extra but at least if you can like take a few things here and there you don't have to do like all these steps it's it can be unnecessary but alhamdulillah like for me i've personally found that it has really really helped my skin my skin feels a lot more healthy more hydrated these days um it's definitely a lot more even and i definitely get a lot less breakouts these days so to me as much as it's really extra and it takes like 15 minutes of my night every night i find that it helps my skin so if even if you take a few things away from this video i don't mind i just wanted to share everything with you guys and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below what you thought if there's anything you're going to take away from this video i'd really love to hear from you guys let me know let's share tips down below okay and in case anything ever updates then maybe i might do an updated skincare routine i don't know that's probably in like 10 years but i don't think anything's gonna change because in terms of steps these are definitely the steps i'll be doing probably the products will be changing here and there but probably the steps will remain the same but yeah guys thank you so much for watching this really long video i really appreciate it and i hope to see you guys in the next video and don't forget Nida loves you.